Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com. I get a lot of prospects emailing and calling me each week asking me how they can create an e-commerce website to sell their products online. Since I don't take on many e-commerce projects myself, I like to give people a recommendation for where to go to get their project completed. One of the recommendations that I give is called Shopify.com. The reason I recommend Shopify is it'll give you an all-in-one solution to get a professional e-commerce website created at an affordable price. It'll also allow you to create your website very quickly. You could literally be online and selling your products within 24 hours. You can actually try out Shopify for yourself by taking advantage of their free trial offer. To do that, just click the link below this video. But I actually want to spend some time to show you an in-depth look of how you would actually create a Shopify store for yourself. So just to warn you, this video is pretty long because I go in-depth. It's actually about 25 minutes, so get comfy, go grab something to eat, and let's get started. After you log into your Shopify account, you will be on your account dashboard, and this is what it looks like. Uh, you can immediately see how clean and sleek the back office is, and that's one of the things I love about Shopify. And you'll see that as we go through the entire interface of the, the Shopify back office. But on the top, you have this black bar, which will always be there, and it will allow you to get back to, to this dashboard, or you can click on this link at any time to view your website live. And then there's some other account options over here. On the left-hand side, you'll have your main navigation, which we're going to go through each one of these links and explain what each one of them is. And then here is the main workspace. And since I'm on dashboard, you can see the information displayed on the dashboard. And some great information when you first log into your site. It's your total orders for the last uh, three months. It also tells you your visitor statistics. And since I'm not really promoting this website, I don't really have many visitors except maybe my own visits to the site. Um, it'll show you your referrals, search terms, and uh, just great information. So we're going to go ahead and click on the second link, which is orders. And I don't have any orders to show you, but I did want to show you one cool feature that they give you on the orders screen. And it's if you click abandon checkouts, it's going to show you people who had items in their cart on your site and abandoned the checkout process for one reason or another. And you'll see an example here. I started the checkout process on my own site and then abandoned it. And if you click on this, it gives you information about what the person had in their cart. And then it also gives their shipping and billing information if they had entered that yet. So you can actually call them on the phone if you wanted to and follow up with them and ask them why they abandoned their cart and maybe answer any questions they have about um, getting the order placed. And they give you this link here. So you could send them that link to send them right back to their shopping cart to continue their order. So that's a pretty cool feature. So next we will click on the customers link which will take us to a list of customers. In my account, I only have one, and it's actually the information for the abandoned cart. So there's $0 spent, but here you can find information about all your customers and search for customers. You can export and import, and you can actually add a customer manually. For example, if someone placed an order over the phone and you want to put them into your system um, so you can track them, this is where you would click to do that. So now we're going to go into the next link, which is discounts. And actually, since I'm on the lowest version of Shopify, I do not have access to this area, but this area would allow you to set up discount codes and coupons that you could send out to your customers and they could enter a discount code or a coupon code to get discounts on your products. So the next page we're going to click on is products. And this is where the bulk of your work will be done. You'll see I've only added one product as an example so far, and it's a search engine marketing guide. We'll click on that just to see the information that I've typed in, a title, a description for the product can be typed here using this text editor. Each product is given a type, for example, bicycles or t-shirts. You can select a vendor. You can track inventory. 
and then upload an image, which I did here. You can give products a tag so that people can search for certain colors, size, or materials in the future just by clicking on a tag link on your website. And then you can add products to a collection. For example, mine is ebooks, and then I have a featured collection that's featured on the homepage. And then you can also add some SEO, search engine optimization information for each product, like a title, description, and customize the URL for the product. And then here it allows you to set the product to be visible or hidden on the storefront. So that's all the product information. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So that's going to save the information, but I need to go back to the products page. And I'm going to click on add product just to show you the process of adding a new product. So I'm going to add a product that's called a website startup guide. And I already have the text description copied. So I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to choose the type guide. The vendor is web eminence. Just going to set the price to $10. You'll see you can add barcodes, SKUs, and um, comparison prices. You can charge taxes, require a shipping address. I'm not tracking inventory on this product because it'll be electronic product. And here's where you add an image. So I'm going to hit choose files. I'm going to double click and add that file. So that should be uploaded. You can add tags if you want to. I'm going to add it to the ebooks collection. And say visible on the storefront. So I'm going to click save. It says your product has been created. And you can click this link to view it in the store. So that's how easy it is to add a product. Here's what it would look like on my website. It'll look different depending on which theme you select. And I'll show you more of the actual website and the shopping cart in a little bit. So now we're back on the products page. I'm done editing that product, but I want to show you one more feature in the products page. For those of you who have a large number of products, they do have an import option, which allows you to import a CSV file which is usually an Excel file but it's a it's a comma separated file and you can download a sample here and I'll open it in Excel just to show you what it looks like so I won't spend too much time in this but just to give you an idea you could type in all the product information or copy it from another spreadsheet that you have made and then simply upload this to Shopify and that will allow you to upload hundreds of products or thousands of products at once uh, depending on how many you have. But for most of you, if you have you know, 10 or 20 products or even 50, it wouldn't take too much time to just enter them manually. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel out of that. We're gonna go to the next tab which is collections and this is where you customize the collections, add or delete collections that you want to include on your website. So I had one called Featured that's featured on the homepage and then another one that's ebook. So for example, they give you, you know, t-shirts. You might have a fall 2012 collection or a collection for products under $100. Anyway, you want to give people an easy way to find certain categories of products on your website. So that covers the store section of the navigation bar on the left-hand side. The next four items are under the your website section where you customize the look of your website so the first one is blog posts and this is where you would add blog posts to your website or to your store website if you have and if you want to include a blog so for example on my website I'll show you it live there's a blog link and I've created one blog post actually this is just the default blog post they show you as an example so in the back office, you can add another blog post, and it's similar to adding a product, but it's basically just text content and a title. You can add pictures in here like you could on any web page and add tags and then SEO, title, and description. 
So you could post your blog whenever you want. The next page is called Pages and it works similar to blog posts but these are just individual pages and you'll see I created three as an example, a welcome page, a contact page, and about us. So if you click on one of these, it's very similar to adding a blog post but it's actually a static page on your website. So here I created a welcome page, just a few welcome sentences and then added my logo. So you'll actually see that live on the site. I customize so that the welcome page content would be shown right on the home page of my site. So you can add as many pages as you want. And then the next tab is navigation and that's where you would set up how the pages are linked on your website. So on my live website I have the main menu and then a footer menu. So you can customize which pages are linked on this main navigation and then on this footer navigation here. So that's very easy to do. You just click on one of these and you can change the name of the link and which page it links to and delete them and reorder them. So that's uh, very user friendly, easy to do. The next tab is an important one and that's the themes tab. And up in the right corner you'll see you can visit the theme store. So let's do that just to give you an idea of the different themes available with Shopify. And this is one of the, the best features of Shopify. You can have a very professional looking e-commerce store very quickly just by installing one of these themes and it only takes a few seconds. There are a number of free themes. So if you click on free, it'll filter all the free themes. And you could click on any of these and install them immediately and see what it looks like on your website. And there are also a number of paid themes. And most of them cost $100 or less. A few of them are $120, $140, just to give you an idea. So these are themes created by third parties and you can access any of them by paying the price for them. I'm going to go back to the themes page in my back office and you'll see up here I have this one theme is published already, it's called Radiance, and I have a number of unpublished themes installed. So that means I installed these themes, so I can click on one of these themes just to preview it and see what my website would look like. So here's one called Threadify, and you can see immediately I have a different look for my website just by using a different theme. And obviously you would need to customize these slides on the home page with your own pictures. But here's the what the blog looks like, the About Us page, and then my catalog with the two products. And here's the new product I entered with my description and picture. So that's just a preview of what the Threadify theme would look like. And if you wanted to use it, you would click Publish. So that's how the themes work. Now this published theme is called Radiance. And I'm going to click on theme settings just to show you the different settings that are available for each theme. And we're not going to go through all of these, but just to give you an idea, you can really customize the themes for color and look and almost everything can be customized. But you'll notice that the themes look pretty good right out of the box. This one I really haven't customized at all. I mean, it looks, it looks fine. So you could use themes right out of the box, not worry about any customization, but I just wanted to show you that by clicking on theme settings, you get all kinds of things you could customize, like the header, text, links, and the color when you hover over links, secondary color, sale price, background colors, heading font, colors of the buttons, and then down here, there's a whole bunch of options for each of these drop-down menus. You can customize the background image, customize the header area, the checkout. The home page can be customized, and here's where I added the welcome page to the home page. And you can set the featured collections on the home page. or you can feature specific products. So there's really a lot of ways to customize your homepage. My homepage is basically 
my welcome page content with my two featured products on the home page. So you can really customize it however you want. Another thing you can do in most of the themes is add a home page carousel, which is the slideshow basically and you can add different images for the slideshow using these options here so if I click save and refresh my page you'll see the carousel so you can add some pictures here that slide with an animation so we won't go through all of these but just to give you an idea that's how you can customize the look of your entire site regardless of the theme you choose And in case editing the theme settings isn't enough to, for you to get the look that you want, they also give you access to a template editor where you can edit all the code of the theme. So we won't go over that in detail because that's best left for the experts, but they do give you that ability. So the next link under configuration is called apps. And we won't go too much into detail here, but just to give you an idea, there are a number of apps developed by third parties that you can purchase to extend the features of your website. Just to give you an idea, here's an SEO plugin. Here's one, looks like for tablets. Some of them are free, but most of these are paid. Here's one to connect uh, the MailChimp email marketing with your website. And you can search these um, by category. So the last link is settings, and this will open up another navigation on the left-hand side for the settings of your website. This is general settings. Checkout settings allows you to select the credit card gateway you'll use, and this is an important feature of Shopify too because they allow you to use a number of gateways. So you may already have a merchant account, or you can choose from any of these companies and get, an emer get a merchant account to accept credit cards. And Shopify will link up very easily with any of these. You can also just use PayPal Express Checkout. This will send people to PayPal after they click a button that looks like this. And there are other options to pay like money order, bank deposit, cash on delivery. But most people are going to use PayPal or they're going to set up a credit card gateway. Now I've set the gateway to what they call a bogus gateway and it's just for testing. So I set it to that just to show you how the checkout process works in just a second. So the next item on the left is shipping where you can set up all the shipping rates for your store. You can also customize all the taxes. You can customize notifications, so emails that are sent to you and your customers can be customized. As well as order notifications that are sent to you, you can customize where they're sent. Now the next item on the list is domain. So if you click on domains, you'll see this domain listed here, webeminence.myshopify.com. So when you open a Shopify store, you will get a free domain like this one. So It'll be whatever you want dot myshopify dot com. So you'll have your own subdomain, but you could add your own domains. You could purchase them from Shopify by clicking add a domain, or you can also use one that you already own. So you could purchase a domain from GoDaddy or another domain registrar and add it to your site here. So it's very easy to link up a domain to your Shopify store. The next item on the list is files, and that just shows you all the files that you've uploaded to the site. And then account information, like the plan you're on, and here's where you can upgrade and change your credit card information. So that basically covers the entire back office. Now the last thing I want to show you is what it'll look like when a customer checks out on your store. So we're going to go ahead to my store. And from the home page, I will just click on one of the products. And here's a product page. I'm going to click Add to Cart. And it says Item Added to Cart, View Cart, and Checkout. There's also a Checkout button up in the right corner with this theme. Here's what the shopping cart looks like. You'll see it's very clean. It's easy to update the quantity. I could change it to one. I could remove. And it's going to tell me that my cart is empty. So let's go back and add another product to the cart. 
You'll see how easy it is to move around the shopping cart. And here you have the option once your cart is the way you want it to proceed to checkout or your customers can check out with PayPal if you give them that option. So I'm going to proceed to checkout. And again, here's a checkout screen. You see how clean it is. This is very important because people, if they don't like how the checkout screen looks or if it looks like too much work, they may just leave and abandon the checkout. So it's very important and it's a great feature of Shopify that the shopping cart and the checkout process is so clean and easy for your customers to complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this information. Okay, so I entered some phony information just for testing. Here, the customer can choose to ship it to a different address, but we're just gonna ship it to the same address as the billing address. And I'm gonna click continue to next step. So here you can select the shipping methods. I only have one shipping method set up. And here is where your customer will enter their credit card information. They'll be able to select different payment options here, like credit cards. This must be the selection for the bogus test account that they have for us. So you can put any credit card number in for testing. And set the expiration date and card security code and I'm gonna go ahead and select complete my purchase. You'll see your customers can select whether or not they want to receive emails from you um, about products, promotions, and other news. So the order was processed and it takes them to a thank you page which you can customize within your account. So now that an order was successfully placed, you should have customers in your dashboard. So let's go back to the back office. And the dashboard isn't updated yet, and it may not include that information because that was a test order. But if you go into orders, it should show you the one order that was placed. It gives the date, and here's my name. It says it was paid with the amount. So you can click on it and get more information about the order, the amount, shipping information, and all kinds of other stuff. It says up here, this is a test order. So that's how easy it is to use Shopify. You can probably tell I'm not an expert in this. I'm actually learning as I'm using it. I've used it for a few weeks, but you'll see how easy it is, even for someone who's not an expert in it, to create a store, add products, and you see how easy it is for your customers to check out. And that's really the the main goal is you want a site that looks professional and you want an easy checkout process so you can get as many orders as possible. So you can imagine if you were to spend a lot of time customizing your site, adding a logo, customizing the pictures and the products and everything, you could create a really nice site that looks very professional all on your own without hiring a professional web designer to create your site. So that's why I recommend Shopify to the people who contact me who want an e-commerce site but don't want to pay a lot of money to get it. So if you're interested in selling products online, I definitely recommend trying out Shopify. They actually, right now they have a free trial. So depending on when you're listening to this, you can check their site. But click the link right below this video to sign up for a free trial. And you can log in to the back office just like you see here and start creating your products. And you could be ready to sell products within a matter of hours actually. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that helps you get a better idea of whether or not Shopify is a good option for your online store. Make sure to read my blog post that accompanies this video as I'll give some current information about the current pricing of Shopify along with some other cool features like Shopify Experts which allows you to hire an expert to create your store for you so you don't, you don't even have to create the store. So if you're not on my blog already you can click the link below to read the blog post with those details. If you have any questions about Shopify after watching this video, please comment below the video or on my blog post and I will be happy to give an answer. Thanks for watching and good luck creating your store with Shopify.